Hello, it's Matthias Weiss again, and we are here with another episode of Kerbal Space Program. Today I will make a test flight with my modified uh, service module and lander spacecraft, uh, which is modified for interplanetary travel. We have uh, these nice uh, nuclear engines for maximum fuel efficiency on our service module and another docking adapter here. So what I will do is I will bring this up into orbit. Yeah, standard booster stage. Uh, bring this into orbit and then dock it up with another spacecraft I made. I will show you real quick. I made a interplanetary fuel tank module. Uh, yeah, take some time to load. Yeah, here it is, same booster stage. And then you notice here, small spacecraft, uh, which is just uh, here for docking maneuvers. And yeah, two big fuel tanks, which will be attached to the other <laughs> spacecraft. And I will use this one, uh, this spacecraft here, the upper stage, turn around, dock with a fuel tank and use it as a tugboat to bring this fuel tank to the other spacecraft. But right now, in this episode, I will just uh, use the interplanetary study number one and try to bring it into orbit. I already did some test flights and it should work, but yeah, it's always always some uncertainty about that so I will uh, I will make a short save here just uh, to see that everything works out and quick save is done physics engine is set up and we are ready to go Okay, uh, we will. S we have set the ascent path to 60 kilometers, uh, the turn and altitude, because it works much better that way. Hit engage and try to get into a 100 kilometer orbit. Yeah, one other thing I did, uh, one other modification I did, I used uh, two RCS tanks on our upper stage and only a small fuel tank here because we will attach additional fuel later. And I used two fuel tanks for RCS fuel because uh, this craft is designed to go to Jewel and visit the Julian moons. So we can have multiple landings, multiple refuel actions for our uh, lander uh, spacecraft and for the multiple dockings we will definitely need more fuel than uh, normally and another thing I changed in this design is uh, these uh, outer fuel tanks here which are non-functional because of uh, yeah when you detach the lander, they become debris and the refueling uh, or the fuel transfer does not work anymore. So I exchanged them for standard uh, fuse latches without fuel inside, which saves some uh, weight also. Uh, MacJab is going crazy again. But... I hope it's not too bad this time. I really don't know why this thing always makes such stupid maneuvers just because uh, the thrust to weight ratio gets insanely high 
with these, yeah, big, big engines. Okay, time to warp to our final position. Oh, <laughs> there's still some debris from our last tries. This is coming through pretty close. <laughs> that would... Whoa! Okay. Ah, that was time warp. So, what the heck? Ah, beautiful sunrise here. I don't know where where Jab and the standard crew is because we have no Murtub shown and blood cut Kermit. Well, okay, maybe they take a break. I don't know. Hey, they went to the moon in the last episode, so maybe it's just a normal crew rotation and they take some days off or. Okay. Now we have to try to get this thing into orbit. And it's not that easy. Of course, it's kind of heavy and has only one engine. Current apps is looking good. So let's see. Yeah, pops is increasing a little bit, a bit too high, but better too high than too low, and we can correct that later. Okay, that is not very good. Ah, I hate that. Orbital operations circularized now at 88 kilometers. Because right now we are on a re entry, which is not good. Oh, perhaps I, don't, I just do it manually. Plenty of fuel here, so. Let's try to circularize it now. I really don't like that. Yeah, with these big rockets, sometimes Mac Jab is a little bit, yeah, doesn't know what to do. It's kind of annoying. Or oh, what we could just do is uh, warp until we are at 100 kilometers and circularize there. At least we're not re-entering atmosphere here. Okay, circular is at 102. Come on, turn please. Ok, 
Okay, let's warp to the periapsis. So 102 kilometers, that's good. I really have to work on this because, yeah, this is not really a stable launch. Come on, just ret retro burn and circularize it here at 102. that here Let's kill our rotation activate the next stages activate RCS And swing around for yeah the almost common standard docking maneuver. Just doing it slow here because it just looks so damn out awesome. Okay, almost there. Slowing down the rotation a little bit. And okay. That's it on a docking course. Okay, let's set our new periapsis to one hundred kilometers. And just get finally into a circular orbit. Okay, that was first burn. Yeah. Okay, a warp two. Periapsis. Yeah, you see here we have a docking spot here to attach further fuel tanks because we will need much more fuel for our journey to Jewel and especially for all the landings we will do with this rocket or with the lander module. And yeah, almost there. Okay, let's circularize here. And after that, I will stop recording for now, and the next episode will show.
the docking maneuver or the orbital maneuver and the docking with the second ship or better said with our excess fuel we will need for our journey. These engines are pretty strong but uh, they are very very fuel efficient. So even from these tanks <laughs> only a tiny bit has been used right now and our orbit is now perfect. The eccentricity is very very low and inclination is okay. So this will be the point where we'll, we will set up uh, yeah, uh, our rendezvous maneuver. Let's just see. Okay. Yeah, I hope you liked this first episode. It will be, yeah, as well part of a longer longer story as our last mission to moon but this time we are not going to Duna because this lander won't be able to land on and plant with an atmosphere and get back up but we can land on the moon so we will be able to land on the Julian moons as well I hope so at least yeah and that's what we will do during our next episodes so Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration and yeah, next part we'll be docking uh, and getting ready for our burn to Jewel. My name is Matthias Weiss and have a nice weekend, fly safe or dangerous and we'll see us on YouTube.